So you see how my uh, stain is like all gone gritty. Yes, it doesn't look very good on the ice shack either, but it's not covering very well. But uh, I've done a little bit of research what my stain might be doing that, and uh, turns out you're not supposed to let it freeze and thaw, freeze and thaw like that. And I guess where I had it at the cabin, that's exactly what it was doing. And now it's not going to uh, work properly. But it's all I have, so I have to put something on here to protect the wood. So I'll just do the best I can. And just to protect the wood, you know. Maybe I'll get something else and do a coat over it afterwards. But it's like... Uh, Almost like it's full of sawdust or something, but it's actually just little little bits of paint or stain, whatever you want to call it. Should be all right once I get it all done. I mean, as long as it protects the wood a little bit, I'll, I don't really care, you know, if it looks real bad or anything. I don't think it'll look real bad. I have white to do the trim and stuff, so hopefully that'll make it look a little better. Oh, I got one side done. It actually doesn't look too, too bad. Should be okay. Got the wood stove going today. Hopefully, help dry out the paint. This is my uh, camping mat here, just some wood that I have there. They're usually pretty cheap at Walmart and Canadian Tower or anything, but what I'm gonna do, I have some spray adhesive, so I want, I want this mat to stay here and not be like this all the time, hanging off this and that. So I'm gonna spray this one to stick on here and stay here. At least uh, that's the idea. Hopefully it works out, I don't know. I'll just do a little bit at a time here, try it out. So anyway, the camera cut off again, of course, but uh, just going to do a little bit at a time to see how it works out. If it doesn't seem like it's going to stick, although this does say you could use it with foam, so We'll just uh, try that much, see how it does overnight, and then I'll do the rest tomorrow. So when your cocking doesn't want to cooperate, I wasn't going to throw it away. I'll just cut the side out of there. And we'll still get to use it. One way or another.
Now, buddy, we can do the roofing, eh? Okay guys, I don't know what the lighting is like in here, but we have our covers for the holes arrived today. They just, they just unscrew like that. So I'll get those put in place today. So I'm not exactly gonna put them where I marked them. I'm gonna try to get them there's a three and a half inch wide uh, two by four here. So I'm gonna get both holes as close as I can to that two by four on either side. That way I can use the uh, fish finder down in one and uh, I can fish out of the other because the, the auger holes are only gonna be four and a half inches, right? So I already drilled a hole here to find the two by four and now I'll just mark out the uh, this one Looks ugly like that, but <laughs> at least it gets covered up, so. There we go, corner one done. These two done. Maybe in the future I'll put another one here somewhere. But I only have three of those covers for now, so that's gotta do. Uh, my adhesive, I don't think it's holding this mat. Ah, uh, it wants to come off, see? So I'll probably just staple this down. And, uh, We'll just go with that. Yeah, so almost done. Almost done. Couple more little things and uh, we'll be fishing. Pretty pumped. go so this one this blue mat will be permanent and then I'll be able to bring this one along use it as well so it should be nice and comfy pulling this uh, ice shack around the yard and stuff testing it out the door is uh, the door's gotten a little tight in the frame there so I'm just gonna use the planer and uh, trim it up a little bit but uh, 
I uh, don't have to run the extension board, I'm just going to use the Blue Eddy and the planer. I'm not sure what it draws here. What does it draw? So it draws about 400 continuous, but it went up to six something there. Here the fan caught in on the Blue Eddy. I've been experimenting with the uh, Crisco candle. So if you guys don't know what that is, it's just uh, it's just Crisco shortening. Melt it down into a can or something. Stick a candle in there. And apparently it's supposed to uh, burn for a long time. But uh, I tried it with one. Didn't seem to. Uh, it only changed the temperature. It's not even below zero outside. 0 0.4 degrees Celsius right now outside and the camera is shutting off because it's too cold as this. Can you believe that? Unreal. So anyway, just gonna try a second candle in here and hopefully it gives off some more heat. Just stuff it down in there. I'll try it again. Oh, we'll try two candles. If that doesn't work, I'll stick another candle in there and uh, we'll just keep trying a few things. Put the clay pot on there. We'll see if uh, how much the temperature changes, if any. 2.5 degrees inside Celsius, so 0 0.3 outdoor. I'll see how much this changes over the next couple hours anyway. I'm sure if I had it insulated, it would be a whole lot better, but I don't know. It's, uh, I just can't afford that right now at this time, but uh, I was actually looking at the, uh, the uh, reflectors you put in windshields of cars, and they're sort of like that uh, bubble, uh, reflective bubble material. So I could do the ceiling probably for about eight bucks if I buy the reflectors at the dollar store. So I might just try the ceiling at first and then see, go from there and maybe do the whole, all the walls if it uh, seems to be working with that material. Anyway, been a couple hours. I got three candles going in there. I put the pot on top and candles want to go out. Even though there's space under, hole on top, I don't know, don't get it. But anyway, not a lot of difference. 0 0.1 outside and just about 6 degrees inside. So Not really enough to fool with, you know. May have to think of another heat source. So I'm just wondering if I should break down and put a wood burning stove in here. This is an old tent stove I made years and years ago. Just out of some furnace tin. So I just used a hinge, some copper pipe, flattened out for, for a door handle and stuff. A little drafter down here. Just turn it. I only used it one time when I made a tent. Actually, I made a teepee, tarp teepee. So the video of me making this stove, I'll put that in the description and I'll put in uh, uh, 
the tarp TP video where I use this stove. I'll put that in the description too. Two separate videos if you want if you guys want to check it out. But but I'll have no trouble to heat this place with uh, with that little stove. I'll just have to figure out safe place for it and uh, some protection against the walls and stuff just a little four inch pipe comes out of here I'll have to pick up some of that because the old stuff has been all damaged and squat up so I'll just come up and probably go out through here somewhere with a jack but still not 100% sure what I'm going to do for heat here I still might try to figure something else out because uh, as you can see it's pretty tight I had that stove there coming in the door you know but I'll figure something out yeah so this will be the last part for the build obviously everything is done now so uh, maybe when I uh, get everything in place and stuff and uh, get to use it a little bit I'll do a little ice shack tour thing and show how everything works and how it's going to be set up for fishing and whatever so yeah so again thanks to all the patrons who helped me with this project this has been paid for completely by them over the over the last year or so so shout out to them and if you want to become a patron for as little as a dollar a month uh link is in the description so yeah thanks a lot for all the support and uh hope you guys enjoyed this little build and uh yeah we'll catch you on the next one take care